I have lived in, uh, in, in four different countries other than the United States. Yeah, I like to travel. And so when I hear these men say things like they're, they're going to get their passport and they're going to go to these other countries and they're going to get them a woman that they feel is sufficiently, like I guess, submissive to them. You know what I hear? I hear American women won't let me get away with treating them like the absolute dregs. And so I'm going to take my, my $40,000 a year income and I'm going to go to a place where that actually looks like some real money and I'm going to exploit some poor woman down there. And she will allow me to do all kinds of degenerate things. She will allow me to treat her like absolute trash under my thumb. That's what I hear when they say stuff like that. And I've traveled and I've lived in other places. You know, that whole spicy Latina. The, the submissive Asian. You know, I, these guys. They are so determined to just be their worst. They don't want to evolve. They don't want to do better. They're like the person who gets a job. And they immediately want to be the CEO, but they don't want to work their way up the ranks. They don't. They just want the rewards. They don't want the labor. They want the rewards. They want a woman. They want a woman that they believe the patriarchy has promised them. What they don't realize is that the patriarchy demands something of them as well. Demands a lot of them. And they don't want to play that role. Mm -mm. They think they're going to go down to Mexico, the Dominican Republic, Brazil, Vietnam. You know, oh, they love the Philippines. They love the Philippines. And like snatch up one of these poor, very, very young women and treat them like garbage. You know, that says a whole lot about their character. And the fact of the matter is, most of them, they couldn't afford to bring a woman back here if they wanted to. What they really want to do is travel internationally so they could trick off. Hope they don't get monkeypox. Okay, he makes $40,000 a year. Why are you worried about his money and how much he makes? If he wants to take his money and go overseas with his money, then that's his business. Why are you worried about his salary? Remember, you modern women want a man that makes six figures. So why are you worried about that? First of all, you're worried about them going overseas. Now you're worried about his money. And you've said that you've lived in four different countries, right? Well, if you've lived in four different countries, then you should know the exchange system and you should know the exchange rate. You should know these things. And all of this stuff about spicy Latinas and submissive Asians. That's such derogatory remarks that you're making. But you know, if the shoe was on the other foot and they said that to you, we'd never hear the end of it. You're a bitter woman and it sounds like you're jealous and you're intimidated by foreign women. And these men are not going over there snatching them up to be mean to them and to treat them bad like trash. They're snatching them up to wife them up. That's what they're actually doing. And no matter what you say, no matter how you try to make these women look bad, no matter what you say, guess what? They're still getting their passports, they're packing their bags, and they're going to leave and to get as far away from you as they can. That's what they're going to do. So, with that being said, all of the things that you're saying, woman, you're just so bitter. You're very, very bitter. And another um, misconception that's going on here is that you say that the women over there are poor. Yes, there are poor women over there. But don't let that fool you. A lot of them are very, very educated and they have good careers. But here's the thing. They don't put their career before family. They're very family oriented. They really are. And you're saying that they're poor. Well, guess what? 
They may be poor, but they're humble and they know how to treat their men. And what do you mean that men don't want to do better? Isn't that what this video is about? The topic is about that men are going overseas to do better and find better women. Now let's say that again for the people sitting way in the back. Men are going overseas to do better by finding better women. That's why they're going overseas. All these misconceptions, don't let them fool you. They're not some little poor, um, uneducated women who's timid and don't know any better. They're very smart. And this patriarchy thing that you're talking about, well, men have been trying to do that for many, many years, but you won't let them do it because you're playing that role. But guess what? He's going overseas because these women overseas know their role. They know how to play the feminine role and they know how to let their men play the masculine role. That's what they know how to do. Another thing that I didn't like what you said, the last statement that you actually said is so evil of you to have said that. It's evil. You're wishing monkeypox on these men that are going overseas. You're an evil woman. But always remember this. Evil words are like boomerangs. You wish bad on someone, it's going to come back to you. Now let that marinate for a while. Just evil. No wonder they're leaving to get away from you. Sorry to tell you, ladies, here in the United States, we didn't caught on to all y'all bullshit. All you play texting games, your mind games, the manipulating type shit, the everything. We, we already got a custom and already know pretty much majority of y'all are the same. Like, a lot of guys are just like saying, fuck taking you out on dates. We ain't taking no woman on no dates. You know what I'm saying? You want to talk to a girl, tell her you want to, you know what I'm saying? If she really like you, tell her we can go take a walk in the park or some shit. We ain't taking you on nothing where we have to spend our money. Because you're already wasting our time, you know? Fuck that shit. We can't get our time back. Half of y'all already gonna probably flake on that type of shit. So, these women over here in the United States just don't even waste your time and money and energy, man. Cause best believe if she got all these social media platforms, she got you on a schedule to uh, go on a date. And uh, you're probably taking her out on a Tuesday. She got a guy on Wednesday, a different guy on Thursday, a different guy on Friday. And she got a uh, sugar daddy type guy like, you can't win here in the United States. Like, stop trying to please these women, man. Like, it's, you're going to waste a whole lot of time trying to find a needle in a haystack, trying to find you a good ass woman here in the United States. As soon as you step foot off U.S. soil, god damn, you getting recognized, you get treated like a motherfucking king. I done seen it with my own two eyes, man. Like, a chick I used to talk to, we talked for a little while. She was from uh, Tabasco, Mexico. She barely knew any English or whatnot, but we made it work. We talked, we taught each other, you know, our language and shit. This woman and all the females that I ever talked to in the United States, like, you she was the only one that actually drove like six and a half hours you know what i'm saying a few times just to come see me and be with me look i'm just like god damn you got females that stay in the, in the same city they won't even drive 20 30 minutes to come see like they'll be like meet me halfway type shit like i'm just saying like man it's just hard to compete with them women over there and these women over in the united states they don't really like us man getting our passports and going over there and see what's going on because they know once we get a taste of that shit it's, it's a wrap well guys i'm gonna leave it at that i'll just see you in my next one make sure you tune in see you next time bye Michael.